Yeah, this is actually a good exercise. Heart rate starting to come up. There, that's the top gear. I guess over this bridge. Oh yeah, we'll see. I'll probably get yelled at. Oh well. Nope, she nodded. Woohoo! Guess I'm around that gate. <laughs> it's kind of cool back here. Definitely this trail gets muddy. So we're on the old railroad bed. A lot of this. This is old railroad bed. I think the FLB club says he's been to work. I think this thing would go like 30 miles. Probably a lot further, depending on your pedaling. And I'm pedaling a lot, but to get, you know, get me up to the speed and stuff, so you're not like starting out at down low, like, like, oh my God. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a big help for the electric motor the mid drive. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the Luna kit. Pretty impressed with his little bike here. And if I get one, honestly, I'm going to have to probably just buy, probably just buy an already put together awesome kit from Luna. Now the problem is, the problem is, is that they're expensive. They're crazy priced. You know, these things are like this is the kit. It's like a thousand, twelve hundred bucks or something like that, which isn't bad but if you have a mountain bike. Like I said, my wife's bike is way too old. I've already looked into it. It's like, I don't want to invest the type of money into her bike. And then I thought, well, maybe I get the, the cheapest kit. Now that's a possibility. Maybe I just buy something off Amazon. But it's not the uh, it's not the kit that's really the expensive part. The expensive part's the battery. Like this battery is like five hundred bucks from LunaCycle. But I guess they stand behind their product. Uh, how much though? I don't know because the warranty for them actually I don't think there is unless you buy a warranty. Because when you buy their bikes. I think the warranty to add on is like four or five hundred bucks. Yeah, so it's pretty expensive. It's like, so you guys don't stand behind your product? Or do you? And that's kind of like an out if somebody abuses their bike. They can just be like, that's obviously abuse. I don't know. So please, in the description, if you have a Luna product, whether it's just a kit you put together or the full-blown bike like I'm looking at or Saran, how is Luna standing behind what they're selling? Man, I'm pretty far down here. There's a Grey Wolf Lodge over there. Some like path going that way, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so I know you're, you purists that come across my video, or cyclists that are like, oh my God, these don't damage the trail any more than a mountain bike. I'm not spinning the tire. Sure, there's e-bikes like the Cake and the Chiron and stuff that are more motorcyclish, 
And one could say, you could spin your tire and go nuts. And I probably could spin the tire on this. But why? Most people buying these kits, they're spending quite a bit of money or they're investing in a complete bike. And uh, they're just, you know, they're not gonna be out there destroying the trails. But it does open the door for a lot of us that used to be, as kids, big into riding their bicycle everywhere. It really opens the door to get back on a bicycle. And I've been pedaling the whole time. There's only like going around a corner that I slowed down there, so I stopped pedaling. Because, well, it's been a long time since I've been on a bicycle and never in decomposing granite. So, I don't know what these things can or cannot do. Obviously, I remember stuff like bunny hopping. I was always good at that. So, you purist, I'm sorry, but technology gets better and better. And I guess it depends how you're using these bikes. I've heard a lot of them say they're okay with it if it's kind of pedal assist. And then some are just die hard, like, nah, that's not okay. You can't, you can't do that. You should earn your, like, downhills, your descents. Well, what the heck? Earn my descents. I want to see you get on a motorcycle and do some of the gnar we do. I love when people that ride mountain bikes, you think, because they're pretty fit people. They get out there and they ride, they get on their motorcycle, they, they just got off-road bike. And they're struggling. Not, not from a riding perspective, just like they, uh, they usually get transitioned the riding aspect pretty good. But they, uh, they're like sweating and they're tired and they're huffing and puffing and you have to help pick up their bike and stuff. It's like, hey, you're not used to this. It's a totally different type of exercise. It's more upper body riding an off-road bike than than this, because this is more legs. Like, I'm not going to be able to go fast enough on this unless I'm going downhill that my upper body is going to get wore out. So, I really need to look at getting something. And this is fun, man. It'd be fun to get a couple, but, but you know, it's kind of baby steps. Maybe get myself a Luna, and then to see if the wife likes it, find a find somebody that has like a a bike that you know bicycle bound bike that they paid I don't know twelve hundred bucks for fifteen hundred bucks for and selling it for at least half, even though I think that's crazy because not that long ago you could uh, you could. You know, you buy bicycles in most places, they like give them away. Like it doesn't matter what it is. I think nowadays it's gone a little bit on the... on the nutty side. in the wrong gear. Right. Yeah, I was like in the wrong gear. And even with the assist, it was just easier to jump off, <laughs> walk the bike up. See, I never had a bike that had uh, disc brakes. <laughs> no, no such thing. So, a lot more bikes down here. <laughs> I 
Well, at least I wore a helmet, I guess. I'm not used to like necessarily always going around puddles either. Right, on a dirt bike, that, that one was small. I would have just like kind of lofted the front and went through it. Like on this, like I don't want to get muddy. <laughs> so everyone makes the trail wider. So mountain bikers uh, evidently widen trails more so than we do. Although a lot of riders go around stuff too. So even Jeeps, and you're like, why did you just go around that small puddle? <laughs> kind of cool back here. I would have never thought of this. Ah, uh, dunes still pretty good. Now, Luna sells a battery that's like 750 bucks. It's a big triangle if you can fit it. I mean, obviously it's more weight, but for the type of riding I think I do like this, where I'm out for, where I want to be out for you know, a long time, I think, <laughs> That's the way I kind of wanted to go, but man, that's a lot of money for a battery. So.